Hi, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our uh, weekly update uh, video here. My name is Jesse Zaro. And I'm Kelly McGillicott. And today we're going to show you integration with RB Digital. Um, this way your users will be able to come to the Koha OPAC and search for titles in the catalog. Once those results come up, uh, they'll be able to see a list of titles that match in recorded books. Kelly, great integration. This is so exciting because we just did the OverDrive integration, so it's really exciting because libraries have different ways to use their electronic resources. Absolutely. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and, and you'll read this in our blog post, is in order for recorded books integration to show, the user has to have a valid email address in both their Koha account and their RB Digital account. And those email addresses do have to match. Uh, and that is one of the um, integration uh, parameters when you're setting this up. Yep. So let's Let's do um, our first step. Let's log into the system. So once the user is logged in, and of course they can still see results if they do a search, um, but one thing we want to point out is you'll notice now on our um, opacuser.pl page for your summary where we can see our checked out items, our holds, our article requests, we can also see another tab for recorded books. This will show us anything that we have checked out in the system. So we can see our great um, Love Me Tonight uh, book that's already checked out. If we had any holds in there, we'd also be able to see our holds. So let's perform a search and let's see what kind of results we get back. So I'm just going to do a quick search for baby here. And this works very similar to um, OverDrive. So if you've seen the OverDrive integration or you have the OverDrive integration, you'll notice that you can see that same type of, of link up there. Now we see a beautiful new uh, image for recorded books. We see their great logo there. And then we can see that eight results were found in the library's recorded books collection. All the user needs to do is click on that link. And Kelly, what does that do for us? So now it's going to only show us the titles that are available through the Recorded Books app. So we can see the books, we can see a short description, what type of book it is, these are ebooks it looks like, and I have the ability to check out, and if it's not available, to place it hold. Excellent. So let's take a look. Let's say, baby, don't go. We're in this great book club at work, and maybe we want to read that. So I'm going to click on that place a hold. And now you can see that I have that book is on hold. Uh, now, if we do go back to our account um, for Koha and we click on that recorded books, you'll be able to see there's our checked out item. There's our item that is on hold. Now, ooh. one second, Jesse. I love the fact you can check in right from here as well. So if you wanted to return the item, you can check in without having to go to anywhere else. Absolutely. This was such a fast read for me that I'm ready to check it back in. I just, it was such a page turner. So I get a nice pop-up that asks me, are you sure you want to return this item? Absolutely. I'm ready to return that and get the next person on the list ready to read that title. And, and there we go. So now you can see that item is checked out. Um, we still have this great title on hold. Now, Kel, why don't we take a look at how easy it is to check something out in the system? is a great idea. So once again, Jessie's going to do a search. She's going to see the results of her of her public library and then she can click that recorded link so she wants an electronic book to take on the plane or to put onto her device. So then you can see if it's available, you'll have that checkout button. I don't see anything that's not available, but if it wasn't, we would just say it's not available and you can place it on hold. Yeah. Um, baby bond. Okay. Let's try, let's try this one. So Let's, let's do a quick checkout mm -hmm. and you'll see here we get a pop-up and the user is notified. You know, are you sure you want to check out this item? Once we click OK, it gives us an update letting us know that the item is checked out until a particular date. They can also check it in from this screen. So as Kelly pointed out earlier, we were able to check that item in. Um, now let's, let's talk about how the user can quickly read this. So if we go back to our account and we click on that recorded books, we can see right here, checkouts and holds. Now, if your user uses the app, um, you'll notice just how quickly um, they'll be able to come in here and you can see there's that great title we just 
checked out about um, the secret baby bond. Uh, it's already showing up in my RB Digital app, so I can see those particular titles right away, and I can start to read that ebook as quickly as possible. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. So making it very easy for that for that user. Now, if your user uses the desktop um, application and they sign in. So if you wanted to not have it just on your phone, if you did your um, digital reading on your computer, you could go right to your RB Digital website um, through what your public library provides and log in and you would be able to see your checkouts there as well. Excellent. Okay, well, Kelly, um, this is a, another series that we have brought to our users for the ebook integration. So far, we've covered OverDrive, recorded books, and in our next session, we'll be covering? We'll be covering the uh, 3M Biblioteca. Is that correct? Yeah, Cloud Library. Um, Jesse, question. Are there any system preferences that go along with RB Digital that we should show our user? Yes, Kelly, excellent. Let's go into the staff side and we'll take a look at those system preferences. We, we know with Koha, we, we love our system preferences. Okay, so let's log in. We're going to take a quick look at administration and where are we guessing we're going to go to? Global system preferences, enhanced content. Enhanced content. So now we're going to see some new system preferences in there. If we scroll down, of course, they're alphabetical, and we could see three new system preferences. Now, there are a few things that you're going to get from your vendor or your rep there, um, and that's going to be a client secret and your library ID, and they'll be able to provide that information for you. Now, the third one is going to be your recorded books domain, and that's going to be the URL where your users would go to log into the system. So here you can see ours. We're using Carnegie Stout Library as an example, and you can see there's Carnegie Stout IA, uh, Iowa for rbdigital.com. So those will be the three new system preferences that you'll need to enter, enter in there. Client secret, remember, is case sensitive, so you know, copy and paste as, Whatever you, as you would get it. And let's give a shout out to Carnegie Scout for being our guinea pig as we show our rest of our partners. <laughs> Thank you, Carnegie Scout. Carnegie Scout. Okay, this is fabulous. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Kelly. All right, well, thanks everyone for joining us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Yes, have a great day. Okay, bye bye.